So basically, I decided to paint on all of the muscles of the face for extra credit for anatomy and physiology theory test this week. So I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Um, I put this white kind of uh, foundation down. It was a spray, body makeup spray that I got from the dog from not the Dollar Tree, um, the Halloween store. And this is my first time using it, and honestly, not too sure how I feel about it, but it's okay, you know? Like, this all came out pretty decently with that as a foundation, so it's okay, you know? So anyway, I'm gonna be doing a walkthrough of how I apply my makeup basically with like time lapse and while I'm going through that I'm going to have all the videos muted that way I can talk about each of the muscles and stuff on the face and what they do and how they function and all that good stuff so I hope you guys enjoy it so you can see I'm going back in again and applying the white base foundation so as you can see, I already have some of my eyeballs done, but I'm going in with the orbicularis oculi. So this is the ring muscle of the eye socket. It enables you to close your eyes. And now I'm going back in and doing the orbicularis oris muscle. This muscle is the flat band, a muscle around the upper and lower lips that compresses, contracts, puckers, and wrinkles the lips. It probably also enables you to do other functions like speaking clearly, um, <clears throat> making the M sound when you speak with M's in your sentences. So now I'm just going back in and outlining both of those muscles because I'd rather have it break up the makeup on the rest of my face. And for those who are wondering what magical eyeliner I'm using to outline these muscles, I'm using the e.l.f. liquid, no, it's e.l.f. expert liquid eyeliner. And you can get that at Target, at Walmart, the Dollar Tree sometimes. It's really banging. Guaranteed. So now I'm just going back in and creating dots to outline how I'm going to draw out my nose nostrils. As you can see, I'm just drawing a, li a line around them. I'm not going to fill them in or anything because the nostrils themselves isn't a specific muscle in your face. So now I'm going to start outlining and filling in the frontalis muscle. The frontalis muscle, or the front anterior portion of the epicraneus, this is the muscle of the scalp that raises the eyebrows, draws the scalp forward, and wrinkles across the forehead. Also just wanted to let everybody know that the reds and all of the palettes that I show are palettes from any Halloween store that you could purchase easily around Halloween. So now you can see that I'm going back in and creating the corrugator muscle. This muscle is located beneath the frontalis and the orbiculus oculi muscle that draws the eyebrow down and wrinkles the forehead vertically. So now you can see that I'm going back in and outlining and creating the procerius muscle. This covers the bridge of the nose lowers the eyebrows, and causes wrinkles across the bridge of the nose. There are other nasal muscles that contract and expand the openings of the nostrils, but they are not the major concern of the cosmetologist. 
So now you can see I'm going back in and outlining the Leviator Labi Superioris. So this would be the muscle surrounding the upper lip. It elevates the upper lip and dilates the nostrils, as in expressing distaste. Next you can see I'm going in and creating the nasalis. This is the muscle responsible for the flaring of the nostrils. Some people can use it to close the nostrils to prevent entry of water when underwater. But the primary function is to compress the nasal cartilages. You can see again that I'm just going back in and adding more to the front talus, which are again responsible for the movement of your eyebrows, in case you didn't know. <laughs> It raises your eyebrows, it flicks them, moves them, all the above. But as you can see, I was trying to go in with a little bit of a darker shade of the red. That way we could just have a little bit more contrast. And now I'm just going back in and outlining the nasalis muscle. I like to outline everything that way. It breaks up a lot of the same colors that I use repeatedly over and over again. Since it's muscles, like, you can't really kind of stray away from the colors that they are, but you can break up that repetitiveness of the face. So as you can see now, I'm just going in and outlining a lot of the lower muscles in the face, like the mentalis. The mentalis elevates the lower lip and wrinkles in the chin. So you can see now that I'm starting to break up some of those colors with a maroon for the bottom. I'm going in now and creating the platysma muscle. This is the broad muscle extending from the chest and the shoulder muscles to the side of the chin, responsible for lowering the lower jaw and lip. The depressor labi inferius muscle is the muscle surrounding the lower lip. Going in at the depressor anguli oris. I'm trying to go back in now and kind of break up more of that maroon with a purple lavender color just to give it more, a little bit more dimension and not so blotty. Adding color to the lavator anguli oris. This is the muscle that raises the angle of your mouth and draws it in. You can see now that I'm starting to create the zygomachus minor. This is muscles on both sides of the face that extend from the zygomatic bone to the upper lips. These muscles pull the upper lip backward, upward, and outward, as when you are smiling. So now I'm just adding a little bit more detail to the lavator anguli. This is, the, this is what angles your mouth to kiss. Now just outlining and planning more muscles in the lower chin area. You can see now that I'm going in at the zygomachus major. This is muscles on both sides of the face that extend from the zygomatic bones to the angle of the mouth. These muscles pull the mouth upward and backward as when you are laughing or smiling. So now I'm going in with a brown again and creating the vaccinator muscle. This is a thin, flat muscle of the cheek between the upper and lower jaw that compresses the cheeks and expels air between the lips. So basically you just blow air out of your mouth. So now you can see that I'm going in at the side jaw and creating the masseter. It's literally just the side jaw muscle. I don't really have any other notes for it, to be honest. So now I'm going back in and just creating the platysma again. Um, I looked at the diagram to the right for most of this makeup tutorial look type of thing. So, I mean, if you wanted to blow up the paper, the diagram, then go for it. That is, because that's literally 
what I basically did. And I noticed that I had to cut out, but I came back with the orange coloring. Once again, just trying to break up some of that color. That way it's just not all reds. So I'm going in with the orange and a maroon color and breaking. And just going over the masseteer on my left side now, as you can see, just trying to make everything match and everything become even. Now you can see I'm going in and creating the rosorius muscle. This is the muscle of the mouth that draws the corner of the mouth out and back as in. And now I'm creating the bustinator on the other side of my face. The other half of my face had a larger version of it, but they're still both on each side of your face. Going back in with the temporalis. That is the temple bone. Hint, hint from the root of the word. <laughs> While I'm going in and doing that, fun fact, did you know about 40 to 50% of body weight is in muscles? And there are over 630 muscles that make your body move. Fun facts. <laughs> You can see now I'm just going back in and outlining a lot of the muscles that I created earlier on my forehead. You can see me laughing and talking because my mom was sitting in my bedroom with me while I was making this video. So now you can see I'm going back in and just creating any last minute details on the face. I decided that the red in my eye sockets was a little too intense for me, so I just went back in with a blue, blue milk to be exact, eyeliner, liquid eyeliner free from Lime Crime, <clears throat> just to break up and kind of really create that illusion of the diagram that I have shown. I also decided too that the muscle in my lip was a little too dull for me so I went back in again with the blue milk from Lime Crime <clears throat> to break up that intensity of the red and to create the same effect as the diagram did. So of course I didn't have a actual white eyeliner, liquid eyeliner to create the same effect as the diagram but I really felt like the blue on to the contrast of the red really helped pull that intensity out and really gave that the dimension that I was looking for. So you never know, some things just don't work out for you, just try something else for it, you know? So now, I'm going back in with a different diagram, as you can see to the right. I am now creating the trapezius muscle. It extends to the shoulder blade and lower jaw. Just wanted to give a shout out if you made it to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching.